Hey guys, welcome back to the Bishop McNally shop. Today we're going to learn uh, some nomenclature, names of tools in order for you to write your tool ID test online. So we're going to go through some layout tools and then some cutting tools and uh, that's basically it for the test. So let's start with layout tools. So some of the ones, the easy ones you've come across already, tape measure. So we've got a tape measure. It's got uh, two different types of units on it. We have imperial and we have metric. Pretty standard stuff. We've got uh, a ruler. A ruler that has both as well. Bendy, hardy, not easy to break. It's kind of nice for that. Okay, now when it comes to squaring tools, we have the basic tri-square. So this is a tri-square. It's got a couple of fancy extras on it. It's got a 45 for making miters, and it's also got a spirit level on it. So this is a tri-square. In addition to squares, we have a combination square. This combination square can do a combination of things. It'll do a basic square, 90 degrees. It'll also do a 45 degree and it can also transfer measurements. If I set this up at one inch, I can now scribe a line on a piece of wood at one inch on the end of this. So transferring measurements, 45 degree, as well as a 90 degree, makes this a combination square. And sometimes there's a little spirit level here too. So this is a combination square. We've got some other squares here. This is a machinist square, high level of precision and accuracy, it's welded together. I use this for setting up tools. Uh, machinist Square gets its name from machinists, people that work with metal and need a, a high level of uh, tight tolerances, so Machinist Square. We've got a Speed Square here, very durable, nice for the workplace. Welders like to use them because they don't conduct electricity and uh, they can also find a bunch of angles uh, pretty easily, so this is a uh, speed square. We have a framing square, rafter square, uh, nice and large for uh, laying out on large panels of wood as well as for uh, finding the degree of rafters if you're going to uh, lay out rafters for a house. So this is a framing square. Your house is made up of different frames so we would use a large square like this so framing square. And a funky little square we call the sliding T bevel square. So it slides, makes a T, and it's got a bevel in the end. So it's a sliding T bevel square. It's adjustable with this little wing nut on the side. Why is this handy? It's for finding angles. If I don't know the angle of something and I don't feel like doing the geometry, the math, in order to do it, I'm going to find the angle, I'm going to lock it in place, and then I can transfer that angle to any workpiece, any piece of wood that I want. So it's really handy for that. This is called a sliding T bevel square. So we lock it away so it's nice and safe, no pointy edges. That's pretty much it for the layout tools that we want to cover in basic grade 10 stuff. We've got some other tools that you probably came across here in uh, grade 10 construction, such as a file. So we've got a flat file or a bastard file. This is a rough cut, double cut file. And uh, this is uh, for basic shaping of wood. So this is a file. We've got a file card. The file card is gonna help us to clean that file. So I'm gonna find the lines of the cuts and I'm gonna clean that out with a file card. So we got a file and we have a file card. It's got some nice teeth on it in order to clean out those grooves on our file. So file and a file card. Hey, got a couple of saws here. This gets its name, the back saw from the stiff back that it has on the back. It's got cross cut teeth that are angled and uh, it's got a stiff back so it's called a back saw. Not like this bendy saw. It's got a lot of nice bend in it. Okay, so it's not gonna cut as nice of a straight line perhaps as this one without the right amount of practice. They're both cross-cut saws. You can tell by the teeth. These teeth are quite a bit more aggressive on this saw, but they're both cross-cut saws. This one's a back saw. 
We did use this for our first project. It's a coping saw. Okay, it's got small teeth and it's nice for cutting corners or coping for uh, baseboards in your house, but also nice for um, an alternative to a bandsaw um, for our hand tool project. So this is a coping saw. What else we got here? Hammers. A couple of hammers, framing hammer, finishing hammer. So the angle of the uh, the claw on the back, okay, so and the rough uh, textured grit on the face is going to make this a framing hammer for doing quick hard work. Um, the finishing hammer has a smooth face that's a little bit rounded, so really hard to get a grip on nails, but it's not going to leave as much of a ding on your project or your wall, and the claw is much more exaggerated. So we have a framing hammer and we have a finishing hammer. Smooth face, textured face. These are pliers, basic pliers or linesman pliers. They actually have a cutter on them as well. We've got just cutters, so these are just side cutters. Okay, they're not pliers. And channel lock pliers. Okay, so they're adjustable for different sizes of things that you're going to twist with. So these are channel lock pliers. We have a chisel. This is a hand chisel, um, basic chisel that you guys have been using. We've also got some planes here. So we have a small plane. This is a block plane. It's a little bit shorter in the four or five inch range. It's a block plane for little work. And we have a jack plane for big work for smoothing large surfaces. So it's got a little blade underneath set and we're shaping wood that way. We've got a C clamp. This is a C clamp. It's a C configuration. It's a screw tight mechanical advantage. Very strong. They like to use it for power tools because it holds so well. This is a C clamp. And uh, we've got a spirit level. So this is a hand level with spirit levels on it. A hand level that gets things level once the bubble's in the middle between the two lines. And then plumb if you want a wall to be straight up and down. Again, put the bubble between the two lines. So we've got a hand level. So we're going to do a quick review. This is a tape measure. This is a ruler. This is a combination square, tri square, speed square. Framing square, sliding T bevel square, sliding T bevel square, much of this square, this one here, machinist square, back saw, coping saw. File, file card, glue scraper, screwdriver, framing hammer, finishing hammer, C clamp. Block plane, jack plane, chisel, hand level. Did I miss anything? Oh, pliers, thank you. So, pliers, linesman pliers, knot pliers side cutters and channel lock pliers or water pump pliers thanks okay so there is a quiz multiple choice on d2l uh, you can do immediately after this finish that quiz up get those marks in 
Um, stay safe and we hope to see you soon.